episode of This Square Room. I'm Joe. There's Hugh and Des. How do you guys like that? I tried. I tried the nicknames. What? It's a throwback from last week. Oh. Stepsister. <laughs> Step sister. Okay, I said what I said. <laughs> oh my god. I said what I said. You did say it. Des, that's your friend. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Like, you can't say things like that with no context. It doesn't matter. They're fine. It does matter because there's going to be a poor soul who eh, is like, poor. oh, let me, let me check out this uh, this, this square room they podcast. They got a cell phone. They're not This poor. is going to be the... No, not actually poor. Yeah, poor is in unfortunate. Yeah, they're, they're listening to this. It's already. It's just too late. That's why they're unfortunate <laughs> because they, they weren't it. expecting they that. This. Two it's seconds fine. in, you're talking about... What? What am I talking about? What am I talking about? Talking about touching. Touching what? Sisters. Yeah. Weirdo, you said it. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not how it works. It's how it, everything works. Um, Des, uh, last week, a couple days ago, mm-hmm. I'm talking to Hugh. I can't remember if I called him or he called me. We're talking on the phone. Randomly out of nowhere, he goes, oh, I want to make sourdough bread. Like, just randomly. So. Okay. <laughs> So I start dying because I'm like, I feel like you do that already every day in your <laughs> pants. And like, that was a good one. Thank you. But it's like, you hear how he talks about his asshole. <laughs> so well, it's he, not really dough, it's poo. So it's more like clay. <sighs> so then he proceeds to say that his asshole was the entrance to chaos. Oh my did I say goodness. That? Yes, you did. I did. And I wrote it down. I told you I'm going to talk about it in the no. podcast. He was like, yeah, my asshole is the entrance to chaos. So then I'm laughing and I'm like, wait, why is it an entrance and not an exit? exit. <laughs> <laughs> and then he starts laughing. He didn't actually answer me. He just left it at that. And I was you like, know oh, what? Yeah. Somebody will hear this podcast and really enjoy that. Yeah, there you go. I ha- you're welcome. No, not in that. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. The entrance of chaos. Yeah, I f- yeah, I feel like you're literally inviting yeah people. unwanted visitors. No, I who like the chaos. I can and who want to go through that it's entrance. Fine. I can defend myself. <laughs> That's good. I can defend myself. Um. Okay. Random question, but have either of you ever called a teacher mom? No, I'm not. I don't have those kind of. I don't have that serious of issues. No, but like have you, you have issues. You think so? Oh yeah. If you call your teacher mom, you have issues. Why? What if they have like a nurturing, yeah, still, loving? That says you have some problems at home with your. Mom. I don't think so. I would say so. I, I agree with you, Joe. Yeah, because you know how many times I've called Des Hugh or Hugh De- like sometimes when you I've called I haven't called the teacher mom, but I've called one of my best friends' mom. I've called Leandra accidentally mom. That's weird. But you know what the context was? Uh, it was like she was that. annoying me, and I was like, <laughs> "No, seriously!" And I was like, "Mom!" And what I was like, "What did I just say before?" It shows that you have issues with your mom, right? But like I said it in a way, like when you're a parent, you're like, "Mom, come on!" It's not. So I was, it's my it's my point. It's not a good thing. Yeah, but it's not like deep rooted issues. There are some issues. No, it wasn't. I didn't say deep. There's an issue. Right, I didn't but like say deep. surface I said level, issue. everyone, especially when you're a teenager, your that's, parents that's annoy you, and you annoy your parents. That's it's weird. not a deep thing. My mom calls me like thirteen different people's name before she gets my name. Right? <laughs> yeah, no, she'll be like Dante, Dwayne, Kaden, Grandma. Oh shit, what's grandma. your name? <laughs> ah, ah, you come here. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's like a deep thing. Have you ever called a, a teacher mom though? Yeah, Mama. What was like the context? You remember? Uh, it? Which one of them? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know why I feel uncomfortable. Sorry, I <laughs> yeah, 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 you're right. I need it. We need it on it. There's um, one teacher, um, she was telling me to do something. It was in elementary school. I don't remember what it was. But I just like to be funny. So I remember she said something, and I was like, okay, mom, do you want me to clean my room too? Oh, but that's and, like, different. Yeah, like, she just started comedian. laughing. Kind of um, yeah. And then the next teacher, I called her mom because I was trying to flirt with her. You. And I was in high school. <laughs> and that's all it all started, guys. Ma, are you yeah. a New Yorker? Nah, hey, she yo, ma. Did, she didn't take me seriously anyways, so I yeah, just ran with it. Yeah, she's not going to after, like, a little 15-year-old. I was like, hey, hey man. No, I was 17, and she probably was, like, 26, 27 at the mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. But I remember, like, as Ew. soon as I walked into mm-hmm. the class mm-hmm. and I saw no, her. I was like, I acknowledge what he's saying. I know, but it's creepy. I knew I wanted oh, her. Look, it happens all the time. 
I, Sadly. I was walking down the hall. I chased her. Not chased her down the hall. That's terrifying. <laughs> but I kind of like ran after her a little bit. Oh, God. And yeah, yeah, that's what she did. She was Thank like, you. oh, God. Sensei. And I was like, Ma, I missed you. Da, 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 da. Oh, and she was like, that's Wayne. You put your arm around her shoulder? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Nowadays, and she's like, that's Wayne. <laughs> you'd be suspended, You cannot expelled. touch me. Because, yeah, she told me. And I was like, okay, okay. I don't want nothing bad to happen to you. But honestly, though, like, what are you doing after school? And she's like, that's Wayne. Please stop. You act like she's really going to be like, oh, I guess you were hoping, like, the, the little sliver of her. <laughs> hoping that she's a little bit of a pedo. Hoping that she'd be, like, in public, be like, no, and then, yeah, like, yeah. slip you a Secretly, note like, on your note, see me, me after here. <laughs> yes! I'm a pedophile. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> you, you. Let me see your little big boy. <laughs> he, like, in Dez's head, he's like, yo, I'm 18, I'm about to be, uh, or like, 17, stop. sorry, I'm about to be how old someone when I was 11. This is... <laughs> I told her, stop playing. This is between me and you. Don't worry about it. And, like, she would always just, like, roll her eyes. Meanwhile, everyone else in the hallway is listening. (laughs) Is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? What's going to happen? Five bucks says he can't do it. And let's be honest. If anything would have happened to you I would have told everybody. Exactly. I would have told everybody. I would have told everybody. Mm Because you know why? You Mm -hmm. can't fucking talk to me. Because I fuck Miss Blah 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 over there. Suck my dick. (gasps) Yeah. He's the man. Yeah, I'm the sure. fucking yeah, man. And you sure. see her being taken away in handcuffs. By Miss. As she should, obviously. If, she if should. She, yeah, don't don't should. make her a victim. No, but I'm just saying. She like, should. She targeted me. <laughs> <laughs> Looking so damn she fine. Me. This is not a joke. We shouldn't joke about no, that. No, we shouldn't. That but wasn't funny. It's too late. It, yeah. You already was, laughed. We did. You joked about it and I you did. found it funny. I did. I didn't. Why'd you laugh? I, I'm trying to hold back a sneeze, actually. Yes, no, you guys know I've been to, sneezing all day. That's a weird way to do it. Yeah, and that's how I do it. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm trying to hold back a sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> all right, touche, touche, you got me. Um, Hugh, what's the craziest thing you've ever done for pussy? Nothing. <laughs> you know what's crazy? I 100% believe him. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm nothing. nothing. I'm not one ever. of those people. I'm not I have not even bought, bought her a lollipop. Didn't even do no. that. No. <laughs> I didn't even tell her I liked it's her. It's just puss. <laughs> I didn't even look her in the eye. <laughs> no, like when I... Okay, no, the so, answer is no. Okay, but your craziest thing doesn't have to be... I don't have a crazy a, thing. What is something that you've done for nothing. pussy? Yeah, okay. That's what I was trying to get at. Nothing. <laughs> Bare minimum. I want it... <laughs> Bare minimum. I'm not gonna no, lie. You can't even I'm say not, bare minimum. No. If it's nothing, that's, it's nothing. I don't know. Bought nothing. a beer? Or fuck no. I don't know. <laughs> if I wanted that bought bad, bought a beer. I'll go to back pages if I want it that bad. Sorry. No, <laughs> that's not the point. What do you mean? Have I'm, you ever been in a relationship? I don't know what I've done. I don't know. Just right. So you have to do my something. face in there. I don't know. What? Oh. <laughs> 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 what I mean is, if you're pursuing someone, yes. like you, you could say, "Oh, Are you mean you know, what have you done for a person, or what do you mean just to get cooch?" Yeah, I think you gotta to what, get cooch. He doesn't do anything to get cooch. I can't think That's of anything I've really because done because we've talked about it on the podcast what have where I you done? were like, you just did a thing where like you just swipe on um on Tinder, just swipe right on everyone, and like you try your hand, just, and you wouldn't even talk to them. You'd be like, "Oh, like let's just." get drinks or whatever and obviously if oh, you're just you mean, swiping and I thought, it's not I for personality that means you just want the pussy so. okay i swiped left <laughs> left is no oh, okay right I right but what i'm saying is once you were in person what is the most you've done talked okay All right. I, I, I'm, I'm being honest i haven't like gone like oh, i'll do gonna, whatever i want for your coach lady i believe him i, I believe, believe him but like also does you know what i'm getting I at know, and that's he, nice. i know what you're getting at but i'm being telling you the truth I bought a pitcher of beer. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> puss, puss. Ladies, if puss all is your... Puss. If, if, that's all, that's all and, I see. And gentlemen, if, if puss anyone puss, just... bro. Sorry, say it. And first of all, I don't think you should... I don't know. What? Isn't say it, the truth? No, isn't it like bad to like liquor someone up just to get in their... No, pants? I wasn't doing this again. I was just buying... I, I, okay, that's why I go back. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Go back. No, I, I didn't buy a pitcher to get in the cooch. I bought a pitcher because it was five bucks. <laughs> and that's what made me get in the cooch. <laughs> but no, I, I, I like, I, have I, like, done anything I can think of that's like, like, oh, I got to do this thing? No. Okay. C- compared okay. to people that I know, no. No. Okay. Let me, let me, I'll answer it and I'll give you my example because I'll, obviously, Unlike Des, I'm not. Wow. <laughs> wow. 
I'm being targeted here. This is crazy. You gotta be more specific. Love you. I guess you could have swipe right. I've gone to a bar or a cafe. No, you're being too like general and non-specific. Okay, I'll, I'll give you my example. Like, I haven't like done anything crazy for dick, but I've been in relationships, and when I have feelings for said person, I have done things. So I have taken people on like trips. I've taken someone to Hawaii, to Vegas. You did like, that just for some dick? Not for the dick, but for someone that I'm dating. That So is that the question? Yeah. You said puss. Right. But it's like, ultimately, it's because you... But that's why I say you gotta get more specific. Okay, so then... What have under- you done to get... I'm, I'm, okay, understanding it now that I've given you an example, do you have... Does your answer change or is what it have I, What is the most that you've done for someone that you want to have sex with or that you have had sex with? I'm probably overthinking this. Like, I'm not talking about, like, strictly, like, one night stand type of thing. Yeah. I think that's what you thought I was getting at. That's what it sounded like. It, yeah. That's what you asked. Oh, sorry. Uh, what have I done? But that's why I was like, have you never been in a relationship? You haven't even, like, done anything for anyone? What that you, uh, but that question was, what have you done? For okay, I'll take responsibility for asking a poor question. Well, it wasn't a poor question. It was just... Poorly phrased? Well, I guess because you're asking something completely different. Mm, no, I didn't actually even make up the question, so I stand by how I asked it. But like, yeah, what's hello, Earth to Hugh? <laughs> I don't know. I can't think of anything. So your answer still is the same. All I right. Guess so, yeah. <laughs> now the moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> Des, uh, yes, what's ma'am. the craziest thing you've ever done for some coochie coo? Um, the craziest thing I I've done call for it that, coochie coo. Because you see coochie coo like with a baby. Yeah, you coochie do. Coochie <laughs> <laughs> Um, is probably breathe and live. Because uh, me alone living is definitely for some. <laughs> You need to have a higher purpose in life. Uh, <laughs> than that. Um, I've done a lot actually. As yeah, I'm actually the total opposite of you. Like, if you need me to drive you to Ottawa, we can drive to Ottawa. If you need me to be your best friend for ten years, I will be best friend for ten years. I yes, a lot of guys do that. What? Yeah, a lot of guys do that. It's pretty. You're like, I'm in it for the long game. I'm, <laughs> I'm in it for life. Yeah, a lot of dudes do that. So, like, to me, the craziest thing... ten years. <laughs> the craziest thing I will do for some coochie coo is get married. That is the craziest thing I will do. I get, no. You well, know what? That's I actually yeah. like that answer. Thanks, Thanks a smart answer. Good job, man. Yeah. Just, just to have sex with him or, like, to marry the right person? He's trying to say, like, like if to this him, marriage coo, doesn't yeah, matter. But yeah. if she wants marriage, then, then I will do, do that. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah like, yeah. I, you will be the one because oh. <laughs> you oh, had yeah. some practice, my girl. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually not mad at that. I feel like people would assume I'd be offended, but I'm yeah, not. no, I would have thought you would too. Why? Because it's a good answer. You're saying like you know you don't personally care about that stuff, but for her you would. Yeah. So. Yeah, I like, like I like that. I would have a baby for some coochie coo. Uh, I would not do that. I, <laughs> don't look at me when you, you know say why? Because what we talked about on I the know, couch. I know exactly why you're looking at me. I'm still offended though. <laughs> I don't appreciate that. That was um, so funny. So these are some women who have shared, I think these are all like tweets and stuff. No, this was like a Instagram question. Oh, it was Jasmine Sullivan, the singer. She, um, she did like one of those, like, ask me anything things. Ask me anything. Or no, no, no. An- uh, answer one of her questions. That's what it was. And it's, her question was, so what's the craziest thing you've ever done for someone with great dick? That's why I phrased it like that. Um, right. So some of the answers that she shared includes, and I th- want to say these are all women just because it sounds like all women, but who knows? Um, the first one said that someone paid their portion. Okay. She said paid their portion of our rent and they went on a vacation. What? Does you're about to say something. <laughs> you think they were cheating? No, but. I, I understand where that person is coming from. Why? I I know somebody who had their rent paid while they went on vacation. So. But it says portion of our rent. So they live together. 
Oh. It said, I paid their portion of our rent. Oh, while they went on vacation. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. That's different. Yeah. It's not like, oh, like you live separately. Let me help you out. You already bought the tickets and you're short. It's like, nah, you're going on vacation with. Yeah, no, who. that's what I mean. Yeah. That's what it was, but not with the hour. It's just. Um, oh, you know, someone who went on vacation and somebody else paid their rent for them. I don't think that's as bad, honestly. No, no, it's not. Actually. Yeah. I'm not paying your portion of rent while you go on vacation without me. Why? No. What if it's a girl's trip? I don't care what it is. Yep. <laughs> um, took money out of my 401k for his rent. Get out of it. Get... Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I call these guys winners. <laughs> um, babysat his newborn. <laughs> No, 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 no. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time These out. These guys are kings. Time out. She did it for the dig. The dig Time was good. Out. She so, can't help that he has a newborn baby. Dick newborn? Is dick. Yeah, but maybe maybe they started talking within those like nine months. You, you know? babysat his newborn, which means he's not with you. <laughs> he is elsewhere. <laughs> oh, true. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Probably with he's the with the baby mom. mom. <laughs> wow. I didn't think about this that. This is crazy. Crazy, you, you look disgusted. You I'm not disgusted. Oh, no, he's like, like these guys are living life. Dumbass girls. <laughs> I'll, I'll shake the dude's hands, but I'm like, you dummy. No, we don't condone that. We well, don't condone course, that. Course we're talking about it. We condone men being. No, better. he's being good. He found a woman to take care of the child, and then well, him and the baby mama have fun. Um, this, Smart man. This woman said the craziest thing she's ever done for someone with great dick is let him keep his girlfriend. Yep, there's a lot of those. <laughs> There's yeah, a lot of those. That's actually not common. Being the, the other common. woman knowingly. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I don't care. Yeah, that's to me that's that's wild, but it's, me, that's it is weak. common. Those are kings. That's weak. Um, Genghis Khan. This girl said I let his homie hit it too. And oh I, my god. Wait, 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 wait. She said I let his homie so the craziest thing she's ever done for someone with great dick yes. is let his homie hit it too and She'd do it again. So he lost. No, no, no. They they like gang banged her type of thing. Yeah, like, that's a lose to me. That's like the guy no. being like, "Yo, like you can, let's have a threesome." Yeah, yeah, that's a lose to me. Why? Because I'm not like my friend. I'm territorial. You're not touching. Yeah, me. Yeah, but in her head, his dick is so good. I'll do whatever he says. So I let his friend hit it. Uh, too. I guess. Right, because all of this is from the the woman's yeah, perspective. Yeah, exactly. Right? So she's like, "It was so good. I yeah, did it, him, and I do it again." Yeah, to him, it's not like, "Oh, she's so good. I do it again." No, he's just like, Psh, "She does whatever." You want to enjoy say. this too, buddy? Come on, come on. Yeah, exactly. Let's go camping. Yeah, I had those two. What's what's the the thing? It ain't fun if the homies can't have none. You see what I'm saying? Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, someone, <laughs> this one, this one is ridiculous. She, uh, she said, I slept in his car while he slept inside with his girlfriend. <laughs> These bitches need therapy. <laughs> okay. We, we're not, we're not calling them bitches just because Honestly, they made some questionable decisions. I understand what you're saying right now, but with this last one, I might have to agree with you. No, she's a complete idiot. Most of these people are. But I'm not gonna idiots. call her a bitch. She's I a, think we she's can. A dummy. I feel like we can. <laughs> like that. Like uh, you slept in his car while he go slept home. In- <laughs> go home. <laughs> Ma- go home. <laughs> Maybe she couldn't. Maybe he had the keys. <laughs> that was all. So then, like, he was how a did smart you- man? He would take the keys. No, his plan is True, to go he inside. Want her to, like run away with his exactly. car. Exactly. Right? So he's gonna go inside. Wait here. Mm-hmm. He's gonna go inside with mm-hmm. his girl. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. make her fall asleep. Mm-hmm. And come back out, mm-hmm. but he fell asleep. Mm-hmm. So she's sitting in the car, mm-hmm. twiddling thumbs. Not this his is problem. Ridiculous. She could have just got out of the car and knocked the door. This is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. No, but like she loves him so much, she doesn't want to like bait him out. Yeah, so she just stayed in the car. This is, this is the same person who was knowingly the other woman, but she took it one step further, yeah. and it's like, okay, I'll stay in the car, and then yeah, like, next I'll thing wait. you know, the morning sun <laughs> is is coming up. <laughs> well, hopefully, this was in the summer. Or hopefully just somewhere where it's like nice year hopefully round. Hopefully it was winter and there's nothing she could do. It's like a Winnipeg freeze. winter. <laughs> um, this person says, I gave him my kidney when he was on dialysis and the donor list. Oh, that's, 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 I don't really think you need to do that for dick. I think it's just being a good person. She also put the crying face. Like that tells me if the relationship probably didn't end up. It was for the dick. Yeah. And oh. he left after the kidney. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, thanks for the kidney. And you know that meme where it just like disappears? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just fake. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how it goes. What? 
No, oh, oh you whoa. Look, did I make a face? You, you're you, thinking. You, I was. You, that's the face the you had was like, you know, that's so Raven when oh, she really? has a vision. Oh, yeah. I was <laughs> so like, what did you see, Des? <laughs> I was replaying like a video. Of my I just mom imagine sent like me. while he's on one day, once they do the last stitch, he's just saying it <laughs> <laughs> fades away. Once he wakes up from surgery, he's like, "Thanks for the kidney, but we're done." <laughs> Not cool. No, he just doesn't say anything. He just has a straight face. No, no, I realized I was laughing at it, so I had to be like, no, that's not cool. It's too late. For my fellow ladies, I can't laugh at this. Ah, she lost her kidney. It's okay. Well, she didn't, she gave it away. She did it for a good dick. <laughs> Stupid. Now somebody else can reap her benefits. But to be fair, she probably was like, she was probably under the impression this is my boyfriend, like we're going to be together. You're not going to give I your kidney just... away and have it walk out of your life, literally. She did. You can survive one kidney, you'd be fine. Yeah, but... I think he probably took a piece of her heart too. Um, what were you? What was your vision, Des? Um, my mom sent me a video, kind of about this topic. This lady worked in a funeral home, I guess they're called, and she was like, a body came in, and the man was so good looking, like so handsome, da 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 da. Dead body. Yeah. Oh God. And it had a really nice penis. No. Okay. And she's like, she had to try it. Yeah. Like, it's a flaccid penis. No, rigor mortis. Yeah, it's still kind of... So, uh, dead I, bodies can get erections. But only for a certain amount of time after, so it had to be pretty I fresh. Doubt mm. that, I doubt that... I feel like that'd be a common thing of a bunch of dead bodies to be fully erected. It is a common it is? thing. Yeah. You just die fully People erected? People have sex with dead bodies. No, you don't die... No, I know the sex with dead bodies is coming. I'm talking about erection. I know the rigor mortis kicks in, but... <laughs> But like, I don't care what I wrong. But like, I don't think that your oh, pee pee is Des, sticking who's up. Who's <laughs> When he said it, I thought of Rick and Morty, and that's why no, I, I don't think the pee pee was shooting up in the air while it's just no, it wasn't. Head. She started like she just fucking started playing it. with it. Oh fuck! And it like, got hard after. It like, got hard from stimulation. Yeah. Oh, I don't think that's how it works. And she she was talking about it in like a talk show, and like yeah, she fucked a flaccid dick. And she she feels no way. She said, "I don't feel bad. Like, yeah, he's dead, but like, don't I can't him. let this go to waste. Like, it has one more life, kind of thing." I don't think. I think. Steve, so now flip that. No, that's no. It, you don't have to flip it. That's still wrong. <laughs> no, but the thing is, I, women, no, but I know wrong. there's gonna be some dumb. Girl, yeah, girl, get that dick. Who would you do know that? What? Maybe some of the women on these lists, but when not you, normal women. <laughs> when you said flip that, it reminded me of a <laughs> city. Not Toronto news, but I don't remember where it was. But some city news, and this these two ladies and these two male hosts or whatever they're called, um, they were doing a report on Christian Ronaldo. That's his name, right? Yeah, Cristiano. So he did something, and he ended up taking off his shirt because somebody was bleeding, and he put it on their head, type of thing. Infected that. And movie. they were talking about it. And then the lady is like, whoa, 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 like, can we go back, blah, blah, blah. So they go back, they play the video again. And then she's just like, oh, like, look at that guy in the back, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. Mm. And then the other girl's like, okay, first of all, you're focused on the wrong thing. Can we focus that this man is topless? Like, oh, my God, da, da, da. Mm. And I immediately changed the channel mm. because I'm like, if that, anyways, yeah, you yeah, get yeah, my point. <laughs> I'm just trying to understand why giving up a kidney reminded you of, um, what's the I think it was the pee pee the... what's the uh, thing like there's actually like a thing where people have sex what's it called necrophilia yeah yeah necrophilia wow wow I think that's the biggest word he knows wow <laughs> <laughs> um okay next one is she said I had someone steal his dog I had someone I know steal his dog and then I helped him look for it just so I could be with him <sighs> I would call the police if I if I found out someone did that to me. What are the police? The police aren't gonna do shit. Yes, if I found out that you stole my dog just to spend time with me. The police aren't gonna do anything. I'll They're just gonna ask you if you want to file a re restraining order yeah, or something. Yeah, that's it. The police aren't gonna do shit. They're not gonna do anything. Like, no, press charge. What do you mean? Press charges for what? Stealing my dog, kidnapping, dog napping, whatever. Nah, the cops aren't gonna do shit. Of course. They're not gonna do shit. They me. will. They have better things to do. <laughs> no. Eat donuts. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to Timmy's bod. That's the last one on the list, by the way. Eat donuts. No. That's the crazy. I was gonna. I was about to say the same mm -hmm. thing. <laughs> I ate donuts for him because the penis was so good. <laughs> I'm Des, a you had one. What was the one you had? Yours is a doozy. Oh. <clears throat> but you have to read it because I don't like reading. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> 
I feel like I sound like an idiot. I mean, you're not wrong. Wow. <laughs> kidding, kidding. All the kids used to make fun of me. You guys both read well, but are like, like nervous to do it. Where is it? Here? Yeah. Okay. So this woman, um, this is a little bit of a story. So she said, he was my boyfriend. When I first met him and he took me to his house, he warned me that the house was a wreck. He said that his roommate had left and when he did, he ransacked the place. When I stepped in the house, my dumbass believed him and I felt very sorry for him. I guess in my mind, I thought that I was the person he needed. I could help him get, uh, I could help him get his, hold on, I feel like I have to sneeze. Wait. Laugh. <laughs> okay Ooh, <sighs> sorry guys <laughs> um where was i uh that was the person i needed i could help him get his place back to normal and treat him right but as time w- went on and after i moved in i realized exactly what the situation was he was a hoarder he was abusive and he was paranoid i tried on many occasions to tidy up the place he said i was snooping and then proceeded to beat me up One time, he went to jail, and I really got to see what he was hiding. I was only allowed to be in one of the bedrooms, though we slept in the living room, one of the bathrooms, and the living room. What? We slept in the living room, one of the bathrooms, and the living room. This was a three-bedroom, two-bedroom house, and I lived there. In the master bedroom, one of the bedrooms I was not allowed to go into, there were water bottles full of piss along with styrofoam cups and glass jars full of piss. I found trash bags with human feces in them, women's underwear dirty, and some of my own dirty underwear. Oh, gosh. Some of my own dirty underwear in that room as well. Throughout the house, I cleaned up cat vomit and cat shit. I hope she knows that there are cats Why in the house. Why are you still in the house? Why old, didn't you leave? Old food plates with mold. And, and then she, he beats her on top of this? Well, you Girl. knew all that stuff from beforehand. No, she didn't know well, that until she went to jail. She, but she's a spec. Well, what did she say before? He, I know. Really, when she walked in, all he told her was like, oh, my roommate left and got mad and like trashed the place. Sorry. But wouldn't didn't she say I noticed that he was kind of crazy or whatever? No. Oh, I heard wrong then. She oh, just that said he's she, paranoid. Yes. Oh. Paranoid yeah. and something Well, yeah, I mean, else. obviously he has to be paranoid if he doesn't want to let her yeah, into just, certain rooms. He said he was a hoarder, he was abusive, and he was paranoid. Obviously, she didn't realize the abusive thing when she moved in. It was after. Um, Yeah, uh, cat vomit, cat shit, old food plates with mold, ridiculous amounts of dirty, crusty clothes, tons of papers, illegal, hospital, random documents belonging to several different people as well as his own. <clears throat> I could go on and on about the state of this man's house. Oh, gosh. I lived with him for four years. Stupid. (laughs) I don't feel bad for you anymore. Four years? Um, It took me four years. In that entire time, thinking I could somehow get him on the right track. But every time I tried to clean or do anything with the house, he would beat me up and say I was snooping. I cleaned cleaned that house for an entire three months while he was in jail. How long was he in jail for? The entire three months while he was in jail, three and I was still. <laughs> oh yeah, makes sense. Um, and I was oops. Notification. Not point. Okay. No, no, no. From this website. That the the mm-hmm. story's on. Um, uh, three months while he was in jail, and I was still nowhere close to getting it all the way done. Now that I've left him. I am with the best man I've ever been with. I have a thing about keeping the house clean. I refuse to live that way anymore. I have a daughter who will be two in August, and she knows to pick up her toys and take her plate to the kitchen sink when she's done. It was a mistake going into that house with him and believing him and allowing him to treat me so badly for trying to help, but he showed me how I do not want to live. And then she put, edit. I didn't put it in my answer, but my ex was a thief. He's been arrested for stealing and can't go into a lot of stores because they filed no trespassing orders against him. My boyfriend now is an assistant manager for a hardware store. And just a couple of days ago, he caught my ex stealing a few pens and some candy. What the fuck? Um, some pan- candy, huh? <laughs> Sheriffs got called and now he has one more no trespassing order against him. Some things never change, I, get, I guess. Um, and then there's edit number two. I've recently done research for counseling in my area and I found a program that mainly deals with abused women and children. I was approved for a grant and will be receiving counseling for free. I start on the 5th. I've also done other research and I'm certain I suffer from CP, 
C, PTSD. I've taken a test advised by the counseling program and it said I was a high risk for PTSD. I'm starting to get some answers and I'm feeling hopeful for my mental health that I can overcome this. Oh, good for her. Um, yeah, she definitely had to be suffering from... Because, like, from four years... Man. Four years is a long time. And I understand, like, being in love and, like, staying with someone. But, like, you can't go into certain rooms. And if you do, they beat you up. And they're going to jail. And they're a thief. And they're... Or... We, why are we sleeping in the living room every night and not the bedroom? The couch is Yeah, wouldn't you cu- question, like... If it's a three bedroom house, like okay, not the master. Like, why don't we sleep in a room? I mean, she probably did question and then got beat up for it. But like you said, like you know, I don't know why she was hoping this guy would change. I don't know why you guys hope guys will change. I don't understand. I don't know either. I don't get it. I think we like sometimes women like to go off of potential instead of going off of like what we see. What what I like to tell, like people who are in this situation or along these lines is like it's okay if you're not the person to change that person like yeah you see the potential but if you're trying and it's not working let it go like (laughs) you can't change everybody you want to change and that's fine yeah yeah it's like it's rough because it's not just about like seeing potential it's also like oh you are in love with this person and you know I am so sorry, whoever is driving a car. I'm so sorry. I my hand is really big. I'm sorry. I hit the mic. <laughs> no, I didn't, oh, I don't have headphones. On, so I didn't hear that. Um, I don't know if you guys heard this, but Sean Kingston <clears throat> recently it was like an interview, oh and he God. admitted to he was talking about like how he cheated on his ex girlfriend while she was while she was in the same house. <laughs> so he was. It. I think. Don't laugh, you. It was that, I think she was, like, upstairs, and he was downstairs, and, like, in, like, I guess it was, like, his studio or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, he was, like, yeah, I was just kind of, like, he was, like, bragging about it. He was, like, oh, like, it was really good. I don't know what word he used. He's basically saying, like, it was really smooth, or he executed it really well. And Mm -hmm. people are, like, this is not, like, something to brag about. Hey, toxicity is trending right now. That's a trendy thing. Everyone, like, I'm toxic. Yeah. It's a trendy thing right now, man. That's what the kids like to do. I don't know. Do you feel like it's a flex? To thing. be able to like pull off, I guess. I guess I, it's like I'd a say, high risk cheating situation. I, I don't. I wouldn't say the cheating part. I would say the sex part is a flex. You had silent sex. Uh, I also, well, it depends on how big the house is. You don't really have to be silent, especially if it's a studio. It's soundproof, so. Mm-hmm. But like, I just feel like all he's doing is flexing like the level of disrespect because like cheating is obviously disrespectful. And this is a recent thing. Yeah, this interview is recent. I don't know if the cheating was recent, but the interview is recent. I don't believe he's mentally stable. You don't? No, because a couple years ago, like, they posted a picture of him online. And because he was being arrested because he was supposed to buy some jewelry from the guy. The guy made the jewelry and he stole it and didn't pay the guy how much thousands of dollars. Mm. So the guy filed the report and blah, blah, blah. And, like, he just looks so bummy and so down and so, like, oh, you're not the beautiful girls guy. Oh, the quote was, he was like, oh, I did it so smooth, though. And that's what it was. He, he was calling uh, himself smooth. I smooth think he needs criminal. help. <laughs> Literally. Um, also, before, was it, yeah, before we started recording, our dear friend Des, who that's said me. something to me. And I was like, what? So I'm gonna let you explain. He said, "I found out that I've been peeing wrong." <laughs> That's all he said to me. I don't know okay. what that means, but Des, you care to explain? So, as a guy, you know, when you you pee, you lift the toilet cover, huh? not the seat, the cover first. Cover lid, whatever. Yeah, you lift that. You know, some people lift the seat, some people don't. Whatever. I know a guy who sits down. He says every time he pees, he sits down because like. He just wants to be comfortable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I get it. So, like, I hear him. At first, I was like, what? But, okay, I do it once in a while, not often, but whatever. Recently, I found out, as a guy, we are, sup- as a guy, you're supposed to pee at the the toilet part that's closest to you. So, it goes down into the water. What? You know, okay, you're when I pee. on the side of the bowl. Not, not the, into the water. Like the front. Not in the water and not at the back. But I knew that. I didn't know that. I, I always pee at the back. Uh, I, 
I would do that if I'm trying to be quiet, then yeah, I'd pee on like. It's the, more so for splash. Eggs. I didn't oh, I don't know care about that. that. I do, you don't I just, care, but you don't realize I how much seen. pee gets not only like on the toilet seat, but like on the I'll outside. I like it if it got on the seat. No, no but you don't. You, see yeah, it. yeah. Oh yeah. man. Take a black light. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I just don't care. <laughs> it's not on the toilet seat, so I'm good. And I was just like, that's disturbing. I Yeah, but don't over feel time okay that grows into like bacteria. I, cl- I clean my toilet. How often do you clean? Every day? Every week. Right. So there's Yeah. It's on the seat. <laughs> I could care less. Yeah. So now that I I'm know not this, act like I, care. I can't unknow it and I have to pee at the front. Because yeah, the splashing the, always the does splash. bother me. Yeah. yeah. Oh god, and it goes. You know what's true? I do know that you splash both of you splash a lot because when I'm on the phone know, with you guys, it. and you go, yeah, I'm on the phone with you guys, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? You're like, oh, I'm peeing. Both of you do that. I drink a lot of water. I'm very hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, the fact that I'm on the phone. I always say I'm washing dishes. No. <laughs> it's not. No. <laughs> and the thing is, both of you guys do it. Like, you don't warn me. I just nah, hear the pee. Just Why like, do girls warn people when they're going to pee? Oh, by the way, I'm going to pee. Okay. No, in the because toilet. it's polite but i'm not gonna realize just keep talking can you stop headbutting the, the, the microphone you it's the first time and it's not it's not <laughs> you keep hitting man. it with the brim of your hat sorry boys. bye you sorry boys. but yeah i'm just on the phone with you guys and then i, I need to tinkle i need to tinkle this aggressive and then you're a plop because i take a poop yeah i do hear plops sometimes oh, really? when i talk yeah, to i mute it i mute it nah, i'm pooping I mute it. I'm pooping. Yeah, see, one of my girlfriends as well, she'll poop on the phone. But, like, you mute it. Yeah. <laughs> Every time you know it's going to make a noise. <laughs> I go, ah! Oh, my God. <laughs> no, I don't hear that. I'll be talking to you, and you just hear the plop. And I'm like, Hugh, are you in the bathroom? And he's like, maybe. <laughs> you don't hear the echo? <laughs> I do, but sometimes. You don't hear the strain in my voice sometimes? It's different. If I'm talking to you when you're not in the bathroom, and then you walk in, you mm. can hear the difference but sometimes if you're already in the back no, I always walk in sometimes he will call me and I'm like oh what are you doing he's like oh I'm just pooping and I'm like are you actually yep. and he says yes yeah. and I <laughs> believe it yeah just, I'm pooping but I'm like why do you call me when you're on the toilet because I'm relaxed I'm so I'm gonna call <laughs> I don't want to talk <laughs> you to you you have no choice <laughs> you're on the toilet. this is not in your control it's funny uh, I seen on Instagram I guess a tweet or something a girl posted and was like how the other day for the first time like she's seen her boyfriend going to the bathroom and he took off his shirt and she was like I've done that before what the fuck like who does that I do that sometimes a lot of people do that yeah, if it's sometimes I gotta I gotta take yep. clothes yep. off yep. pants yep. everything yep. man yep. Yep. Oh. Wait, have you ever pooped while on the phone with me yeah really yeah <laughs> At least you're polite enough to try to Yeah, hide. I don't talk about it. Or, like, if you're talking, I'll just mute the phone. Yeah. And, you know. Just unmute, yeah. uh-huh, uh-huh. And then yeah, Exactly. <laughs> That's funny. No, Hugh, Hugh doesn't care. Hugh I, has no respect. Hugh doesn't know what the mute button does. He's like, what's that? <laughs> just poop. Yeah. Poop is still very... As long as you don't hear, like, hear like a flood of just shit going in the toilet, you're fine. <laughs> I'm hearing it plop into the you toilet. You hear a plop. That's fine. But imagine hearing, like, a... <laughs> That would be. I don't want to yeah. hear your diarrhea. Either, e- yeah, either of them would make me so uncomfortable. Really, I feel like diarrhea. We're talking and all hairs. <laughs> oh my no, no, God. no! It's 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 much heavier than it's that. It's like <laughs> 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 yeah. like when you take a big rock yeah. and you throw it. In <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then you hear the splash. Like, yeah, it's a yeah. heavy, like, he's taking deuces. Like, like, like you know the splash hit his bum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta wipe my bum twice. My butt's a little wet. My ball's a little wet. Oh, oh Hugh. Hugh. Oh, I forgot. You guys Hugh. have balls Yeah, we down have there balls too. hanging there. Yeah. Oh. We got them dangling. You got yeah. shitty toilet water and then all the extra piss from yeah. all your piss splash. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We got them dirty balls. <sighs> oh, God. Got them dirty danglers. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, I don't know how to pivot to this next conversation. Just pivot, man. Just pivot. No, because I, I do want to be respectful. And of who? We were talking about dirty danglers, Britney Spears. Ah. Uh. Right. So I don't want to. I don't know how to. You don't. It's okay. Just pivot. I guess I already did it. I already did it. It's fine. Um, Hit me, baby, one more time. Have you guys? Are you guys up to date with everything that's been happening with her conservatorship I... and her appearance in like? chose to skip past that i i i haven't uh, hold on talk amongst yourselves i feel another sneeze coming on <laughs> talk amongst yourselves you peasants <laughs> <laughs> all right nobody 
talked. That was a conversation. I did. I said, talk amongst yourselves, you present. I mean, I guess, but it didn't actually talk no, over my sneeze. No, not at all. No, I'm sorry. Oh, I don't know. It's just allergies. Um, hold on. Another one's coming. Talk amongst what, yourselves. Uh, what is wrong? What is what? Laugh, is, man. You gotta laugh. This is worse than Hugh. Yeah, come on. What? What's going on? His allergies when he's let it out. <laughs> let it out. Let it out. No, I, you scared it away. That's okay. Um. What's it called? Her conservative shit? Yeah. So ever since the famous, I think it was 2008, the breakdown where she shaved her head mm-hmm. and everything, um, her father has been her conservator, which means he makes all decisions for her mm-hmm. medically, financially, whatever. Um, over the years, it's gotten super controlling. Um, she, I mean, the documentary, I didn't actually see the documentary that came out, um, I want to say like earlier this year, like January, February. What's it called? Uh, I don't know. Something, it's Britney. I don't know. Oh, Brittany, I was going to say Brittany. Finding Britney. <laughs> Britney, bitch. Um, no, definitely not Britney, bitch. But, um, no, but, yeah, but, yeah, but over but, yeah, the years, but. I've, you know, found out about this stuff and like done my research and the conservatorship, it's, it's super strict, but she, um, appeared via phone to appease the judge to try to get her father off of her conservatorship Mm -hmm. because first of all a conservator gets paid to be said conservator yeah so he makes money doing it but he also gets to control her um he controls everything medically financially right so like for instance for a while she was uh i think she it was her vegas residency but like if she wasn't working and performing the way they wanted her to, she wouldn't have privileges to see her sons because she has two kids with Kevin Federline. I don't know if you remember that. But mm. um, she has two sons. They're like teenagers now, but <gasps> she wouldn't be able to see them. Were they married? Uh, I think so. Oh, my God. Sorry. Little Wayne has a verse in a song that he mentioned something that I didn't understand until just now. Oh, my God. He's a genius. Go yeah. Ahead. But like or, or her boyfriend. She does have a boyfriend, but like they control that access. Mm-hmm. Um, she actually, which I didn't know before, she has an IUD in, and they will not let her take it out because they do not want her having babies. That's she true. can't carry cash, credit cards, or her passport. Like they have control over uh, all of that. She can't order a coffee without consent. She can't be. go anywhere. Should There's be. 24. What do you mean should be? When she hit a spiral, she hit a spiral. Right. As her father, but a lot of. But it's been like 10, 12 years now. Yeah, then maybe they feel like she's still on the loop. Um, they had her on lithium, which is usually to treat bipolar disorder. Mm-hmm. But like she talked about how it like makes her feel like almost drunk. Like it makes you kind of hazy and she doesn't want to be on it. She has mm-hmm. no control over anything. So she's I think she's actually not even asking to no longer be on a conservatorship. She's asking for him to be removed, specifically her father. And you, you, what? You, you justify that? Uh, that's her parent. I. So I think, I think it's 2021. I think we know now that just because someone is your parent I, doesn't mean they always I make the best decisions that, for you. But I don't know, man. Her making her own decisions. I can understand no, why the dad is like, no. No, she's, they, she wants someone else to be the conservator. If somebody else can be the conservator, but that's fine. But he doesn't fine. want to be removed. Yeah, him not. Like, I wouldn't want to be removed either. Why? Because I know how my daughter is. I know she will manipulate whoever is going to be there. You no. cannot manipulate me, and that's why you're upset. I'm so shocked that you said that. I. That's how I feel. I do feel like she was really on a crazy spiral, and it was just go. It was too much. And as her dad, I would be your conservator too. However, you know. The extent that he has her on, I'm not going to say that's not a lot. It is a lot, but maybe it's for a reason. We don't know. The majority of her adult life, she hasn't had... And I don't think she... Even the simplest of... You don't think she can just go to Starbucks and order her own coffee? I don't think so. I really don't. What? I don't. I am so shocked She went crazy, got married in one night, woke up in the morning like, why did I do that? You can't just do anything when you're famous. You're not a regular person anymore. So you think it's because she's famous why she should stay on the conservatorship? I feel like because the publicity that she gets when she does anything. But you know a lot of child stars. Hundred percent. So you think every but she's not a child anymore, right? But she it all this happened. How can you look it up? How old was she in with the? By the way, anybody that wants to see it, it's called Framing Britney Spears. Right. I was like, it's not called Freeing Britney. The hashtag Free Britney, like, that's the movement now, and that's been for a little while. But, like, how old was she when... I know she's, like, 37 or so now, but how old was she when that happened? 
Started. What are your What are your thoughts? 07. I don't know enough, so I can't really have enough opinion. Based off of the little I've told you, uh, if she want, if she want, if she's sane enough to have her freedom, give her her freedom. Hmm. Interesting. I'm shocked uh, with your answers here. Give her freedom. <laughs> I, I don't see the problem with giving her freedom. Give her freedom. If I'm her dad, I do because I don't want if if my daughter gets her freedom, right? And this is my perspective. If my daughter gets her freedom because you guys who if don't you know her. Okay, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. If you guys who don't know her feel like, you know what, sir, you're doing too much, XYZ, and I give my daughter freedom, and then a month, two months later, my daughter ODs and is dead. You guys are just like, oh my God. I, don't know I would never think she would do that. I don't know, but like however whatever, whatever cut a coffee that it starts with something. Maybe there's a reason he is like this. It's his daughter. You know what I mean? Like, I know Caden. So people could be like, oh my God, Caden's the nicest. He would never do this. Nah. Nah. I don't know. He's still, he was funny. I don't give me a if, if you're hearing it from the horse's mouth, the horse in this situation is Brittany. Because mm -hmm. the, horse, the horse is always going to cry wolf. The horse is always going to cry no, that they're not happy. Has, this is her first time speaking out about it publicly the whole time. The whole time from what you know because the dad's been controlling. She spoke to somebody who now can get it out there, whatever. Obviously, the dad doesn't want this out there. So, obviously, she found a way to finally get it As out there. As a parent, if, if your child is telling you what you are doing to me is damaging me, even if you think, like, let's play devil's advocate and say that, like, oh, he probably Devil. is trying to do what he thinks is best which I don't agree with, but let's say that that's the case. It's like, okay, let's put someone else in place since maybe I'm too close to the situation. If she feels like I'm the one who's hurting her, let's still keep a certain level of control, but let me give it up. But it seems like he's keeping it because like he gets to control her money. Like he, he benefits from it directly. It's not just about helping your child. He's getting paid. <laughs> you figure out how old she was? No, but she was 24 when she had her first child, so. Um, thank you. That wasn't yeah. the question. <laughs> I know. I'm typing in so many things. All right. Well, you know what? Let's move on because I feel like I give her her freedom. neither of you have. I, I just don't. I just said give her her freedom. No, I don't. I, 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 don't. Don't. No, I was going to say neither of you have anything more to say. I, I, I don't know anything really much about it. Just give her her freedom. She's an adult. Nah. Our, our dual, like, she's like, still our, my child, man. If she get her like, get her, like a psyche vowel. If she, she she's definitely had those. I don't know. Man. Definitely had those. Give me, give me more. Wow, you sound just like you know. Maybe give me more. they tried. Yeah, no, I'm with dad still. All right, let's do a slightly different pivot. I was gonna get into the listener question, but I actually did have one more story to um, talk to you guys about. <laughs> um, there was a. I don't know if this was like a radio show, a podcast, oh. whatever, but it was an interview, and this woman said that she feels like her ex should oh. continue to fund her lifestyle even if they break up so the story she told she said that her ex um you know when they started dating he elevated her lifestyle from what it was previously he um bought her a car and he got her an apartment and whatever right like a, like a loft i think it was now she said they broke up she said there was no cheating whatever like they're still friends but she feels like he should still continue to pay for the car and pay for the loft because he has now gotten her accustomed to said lifestyle. Boys, what do you think? That's an entitled brat. Um, <laughs> that's an entitled brat. That's the most ridiculous shit I've ever heard. I will Pause. say, I think her mindset. Wait, wait, is... wait! Don't go yet. Don't okay, go yet. Sure, sure. Okay. I hear what you're saying. Oh God! Don't justify this. I'm not justifying it, but you have to understand. Nope. If her and him were legally married. No, they were dating. No, no, no. I'm just saying. Oh, uh -huh. If they were married, even if it's they dated for four years, let's say they were married for four years, mm. legally, he would have to. That's what I was going to get at. Like, I no think her it, mentality comes that's from when you were married. married. That's what the rule but is. you're not. You're right. And you're even not. if you were married, no, that's, you entitled little prick. Entitled or not, that's what the court says. When you take somebody dating. out of their lifestyle. Oh, my lifestyle. Even, um, what's Fuck his name? Dr. Dre and his wife. Fuck when they were divorcing and she filed for all these things, she won so much money because at the end of the day, you made me live this lifestyle. You made me live the lifestyle. So for me to go Fuck back off. to regular, they're saying that like it will mentally cause problems. Oh, like, 
up. You oh know, who knows? You know, some God. men have done it too. Don't quote me. I think it was Halle Berry's ex as well did the oh, same thing. I would too. She's fine as fuck. Well. No, but like, like trying to get money. It's not about her anymore. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to let her just I, I win think, I think it was her. But like there's, you know. I, I, think, it's, I think it's stupid. It's stupid. It's dumb. It's dumb. I, I also think it's ridiculous and I do think she's entitled, but I also understand the mentality because that's what happens when someone's married yeah. you could be married for a year you're still like well I got used to this lifestyle so what are you fucking 12 that's what the law is man the law is the law but if you're it's but stupid. I think I think you're reaching when she someone is reaching state... reaching no that's, that's, I think she's like fucking this <laughs> <laughs> stretching her leg all the way out no I'm saying it's one thing with marriage no nah, even with marriage like, well it's just because that's the law right so I'm not stupid gonna ass law we don't have to agree with it, but that's what it is Clean in up. most situations. But it's like you didn't you you're not married. Yeah, yeah you weren't good enough. Yeah, you're not entitled to the car payments anymore. I can't because my life is now me. used to this. And Fuck I think in her head, it's like, well, there was no cheating. Like, yeah, we're still, we're still friends. friends so like, he should... yeah, you said you love me. This guy's no? a bum too. If that was my friend, like, what the fuck are you doing? I I don't think he's a bum. I, I think... wait to this, but if that I was think... my friend, I'd about shit on you. I mean, Maybe what are you doing? he did like her. What do you mean? It's like so. If... Why'd you dump her? It's like if you're Maybe wealthy. She broke up with him. If Why you're are you wealthy, still paying right, for it? And because they're still friends. Fucking idiot. Well, right, right now, I don't think he. I, I feel like the way she's saying it, he's not, and but she's saying paying. that he should. He's still paying. The guy's a bum. I, I feel like this he's my. Not, I feel like he might help her out once in a while, but nope. I don't think he's paying, paying. That's my. Because the way she's saying it is she. Because if he, to me, if he was still paying for it. She'd, it would be more of a brag. Like, yeah, sure. I have a guy, you know? But the way she's saying it is like, no. She's trying to I justify feel like, yeah, Exactly. Mm-hmm. So maybe. I feel like maybe he might help her out here and there because he's a friend. But, no. like, I don't disagree with the moving her in, the car thing. Like, maybe he really saw a life with her and stuff like no, that. No, no, that part, yeah, but continuing to pay for it, no. I think I would be like, you can keep the car, but, like, you got to pay. Keep paying. Like, you got I'm not. Yeah, if you want to live here, yeah, you got to pay wanna, for Yeah, it. you got to pay for it. Or I'm going to sell the yeah. place. Yeah. Exactly. I'll do, pull a Quavo. Take it back. Yeah. But, but if the, the stuff was in my name, like, see, the way I see it is this, like, I could be in a relationship with someone and I could be like, I will gift you this car to use. Yeah. But if it's in my name, it's still it's my, my car, car, but I'm allowing you to use it yeah. for X Whatever. amount of time. If I want to get you a car, I will buy it in your name and that's your car. Yeah. And then you take on those payments. So it's like, if it's in his name, I feel like he can take it back. If he wants to let her continue to use it, that's fine, but she needs to make the payments. And then. It shouldn't even be a discussion. <laughs> it was a huge discussion and it's that's funny that's the sad part one right, of the women discussion. were like he's no longer doing it because you guys are no longer sleeping together yeah and I was like I'm yeah. like it's true Duh. it is true the things you would do for but some books but she was like why though like he he elevated my lifestyle from what it was and I'm like exactly he elevated you and because you no longer you, are with him yes he elevated it because you were worth something to him at that time you're now longer, no longer worth something to him at that time don't say something say that much okay that much Thank you. so yeah, now you, you lose can't. your lifestyle get over it you fucking entitled prick God, this is why I say you need that friend that will break down your ego and be blunt with you. She clearly doesn't have that. Nah, she definitely does. Nah, no friend. What? No, because she probably has other women who are just like, girl, I want to be just like you. I like I said, my, that's my why rent, it's important. Like I said, have that friend that's going to be like, what the fuck are you talking yeah, about? No, she probably has those friends, friend, but she doesn't want to listen to them. Yeah, she sat there with, with three other. Uh, who I think all no, I'm saying she shouldn't even have gotten that position in the first place because if she had that friend that would break, it would be like, hey, dummy. You're not fucking anymore. You're not entitled to so this shit. So you're telling me you listen to every single one of your friends? If your friend says something that no, you if I had a fr- with, I, if you feel strongly enough, no. you're going to go with what you, you feel, right? But you're I wouldn't, well, I wouldn't get to that guns. dumb part point. I wouldn't get to that stupid... I maybe wouldn't. not with the situation like no, this, if but I, maybe there's a situation where everyone's like, QG, you're so dumb, and you're like, no, no, no. Like, No, I, I trust my friends that much, yes. And I have one that will that has no problem breaking my ego down. I'm like, oh, thank you. If I'm being stupid, he's going to be like, you're being stupid. Yeah, I but him. wouldn't and you, I am that to him. But wouldn't you be like, yeah, I know I'm being stupid, but you know, this is how I feel. No, because I'm not. In, no, I'm not entitled like that. I wish, Jesus. I'm going to take. Let me time chair. my friends are like, Des, you're being dumb, and I'm like, no, I, I know, but I will not live with myself unless I continue being dumb. So. I'm going to do it. I feel like that's you with like anything petty. Everything It's like, petty. Des, don't be petty. Uh, I have You to. don't need to. You're like, I know I don't. I can't. But I it won't to. sit well with me. I, And this is what I tell people. You can always tell people you're what you feel. However, they will always do what they want. So if I want to yeah. be petty, 
even though you're telling me not to be petty and I understand not to be petty, <laughs> I will not live right yeah. if I don't <laughs> do this petty thing. Nah, whatever. She's getting what she's getting. Good for her. Well, I mean, I hope it doesn't uh, stop. Nah, she'll just find somebody else that will do the same thing I for her. I doubt it. Nah, she will. No, if I Definitely. Guess, he has a dummy, too. Yeah, but now that she's online and stuff, maybe there's a guy that's going to see what she looks yeah. like and hear what she's saying and be like, I'll do that for her, no problem, yeah. as long as she keeps, you know. That's true. She's giving me the goods. Yeah. She's advertising herself right now. Yeah. yeah. No, good for you, lady. I'll only last a couple more years. <laughs> Um, all right, so now we're going to get into the listener submitted question. If you are listening and you have a question or a story or just anything that you want to ask us and you want to be a part of the show, please feel free to write in to us at thissquareroom.com slash ask. We love to hear from you guys. Um, again, that's thissquareroom.com slash ask or just, you know, go to our website, thissquareroom.com and click the ask us tab. Click, 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 click. So this person, okay says not to use their name oh. but they are asking uh the subject is love advice um male or female i don't know i want to give them a name i want to say you want to give yeah them can we name? give them a name i can't do this unless they have a name i'm let's assuming it's a girl call them let's, jess let's you no i want to use like a um, jesse because jesse can go either way yeah yeah that's true okay okay all right we'll, we'll call them jesse oh you were he or, was or, or oh. even jess can can be because <laughs> yeah. like if a guy's name actually is jesse you just call him jess. jess for short yeah okay so <laughs> why, why do you want to give them a name so is it, is it a dude or a girl i think it might be a girl but i don't know um so des and oh <laughs> they wrote your name wrong you wrote eugene yeah it's fine <laughs> that's how he spells it <laughs> No, with an E. Yeah, I know. That's fine. I'm used to it. <laughs> that's why I say no, it all I the know. time. And, and I, I said that's how he out. spells it. Oh, fuck. No, I told you they cannot hear the beginning. <laughs> no, but I spelled it in one. No, he's saying you mumble. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so they wrote Des and Eugene. Oh, for anyone listening, um, it's it's not a big deal. Nobody takes offense. But it is Hugh Gene. Like Hugh Hefner and Gene Simmons had a baby. <laughs> And boom, like H U G H G E N E. Yeah. So, uh, Des and Hugh Jean, uh, you guys talk a lot about relationships. So, I wanted to know. We do. In your, I, I guess, I, I like do. the podcast in don't. general. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I wanted to know, in your opinion, what does it take to keep a man? And, Joe, what does it take to keep a woman? Boys? You can go first. Me? I'll, I'll, no. I'll go. I like going. Yeah, oh, so it does. Says, yeah. Okay. I was like, um, I would say it depends on the person. You can't just keep anybody you feel like keeping. It has to be compatibility. You can be compatible with somebody, you know, outside of the house, but inside of the house, they don't wash dishes, they don't really clean, and those kind of things will add up and bother you or whatever the case is. So I can't tell you what it takes to keep a man however guy, exactly so like for me i don't like traveling i cannot date anybody who always wants to travel because that's not me and you know that will cause problems because i'm not an open person either <clears throat> what if they want to travel but they don't care if you come is that still no, a problem go for it oh so, go about your business okay so you're not gonna so so you'll stay there and pay yeah. you'll pay your yeah. half of the rent yeah yeah yeah. i'll pay the full rent you, you'll, you'll <laughs> i'll pay, pay the full rent while you go while they travel. <laughs> yeah. okay just want to make sure yeah you know some people they don't yeah, want like, they, no. they're like they don't want to travel but they don't want you to travel either so i just want to no like, no ask. no no you I, don't care what they do but you don't want to yeah, be forced into exactly because do. i'm not really a person that likes to try different things i don't like to go new places I don't like adventures. Like, that's just not me. You don't I like, like people. You don't like sunlight. Yeah. <laughs> I like what I'm used to, and I don't like to really come out of that unless yeah. I choose to. So I don't like people forcing my hand, so I can't date somebody who forces my hand. So the question is how to keep a man. Like I said, everyone is their own individual person, and everyone needs to stop looking at men and women and, you know, people as a whole and just appreciate them for who they are. And if you two are compatible then it's just like hanging out with yourself. You know, I've talked to, or I don't want to say dated because we weren't physically like dating, dating, but I've seen and spent time with, with women who are like, it's like hanging out with myself and it's pretty cool and everything. But at that stage, I did not want a relationship. So why force myself into one just because, oh yeah, she's cool, I'm cool, we're cool. Sorry. You, you have to be all in, especially to me, if you're past the age of 25, you should be like locking in at this point. 
like it's not really fun and games anymore when you're in high school everything's fun and games yeah you're dating now you're breaking up now you're dating somebody else after 25 you know you you you're looking for compatibility not just I feel like you're always looking for compatibility I feel like though. you should no <laughs> no not as guys oh you yeah. just looking for we're just looking for whatever oh, yeah interesting yeah um I dated a girl who said she wouldn't date a guy who had a kid just because she said she wouldn't date a guy who had a kid and I wanted to prove a point. It does. What? See, see what I mean when I say you're petty? Like, <laughs> what, why? But why, like... Why did you feel like you needed to prove that because point? Because I don't like what she said. <laughs> oh, I would never date a guy with a kid. Okay, I have a kid. Yeah, I would never date a guy like you. Why? What's wrong with a guy like me? I just couldn't do it. And then... <laughs> I think she Challenge did. accepted. <laughs> oh, you my did? God. The fuck I did. Oh. The fuck I did. I made her actually beg me to want to be with her. Yeah. Damn fucking straight. Suck my... Anyways, <laughs> back to the question. Um, Yeah, so that's how I feel about the question. It, you just have to know the right person. Hmm. Okay. Fair. I'm team compatibility. Team compatibility. Um, Hugh, what, in your opinion... Different, she... different from Des because you have a tendency <laughs> to be like, oh, what he said. Um, <laughs> what, what do you think it takes to keep a? Make sure yeah. the person you want actually wants you, and then you have to ask yourself too: This is the guy that I want, want me. Um, make sure you actually make sure you love yourself first. Um, you gotta learn to trust him and then trust in yourself. It, it comes down to the kind of guy you want too. Do you want a more traditional type of dude? Then you're gonna have to. Be willing to be submissive. You want a more of a traditional type dude, and you have the actions of am I willing to, to be submissive? If you want more of a, I guess, uh, egalitarian relationship, then whatever. If you want more, if you're the alpha chick, then you have to. Okay, yeah, no hands tables. <laughs> um, uh, and then if you want more like a, if you're an alpha chick, looking by that hard ass name, you might be. I'm just joking. Um, I'm just joking. I'm joking. It's a very strong name. I like it. Um, last name, but no, like you have to find out what kind of dude you want. Um, yeah, trust him, love him, be the peace in his life. Um, I came, like, I, I thought of this little saying one time, it's like, be the, be the sunrise over the beach for him. You understand? You get it? What's the most peaceful time of the day when the sun is rising over the beach? It depends. I like sunsets. Well, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, be the peace in his life. Um, you know, uh, be the peace in his be life. Be humble. You be the peace in your life. Um, <laughs> be a humble person. Um, be willing to listen, I guess. Uh, I, I do like a lot of the points you're saying. Be um, yeah, you're making some take nice care points. of yourself. Um, make sure you take care of your mind and body. Uh, you know, yin yang. Um, you know, um, what you call it? Uh, I'm brain fart. I'm trying to think. No, no, stuff. you. That was you great. Right yeah, that was really good. Very profound. Um, Sun, what do you say? Sunrise on the beach. Be the sunrise over over his beach. Yeah, be I the like, sunrise over the beach. Be I like the sunrise the point. over his beach. Yeah. I like the point that you're making about the type of yeah. You have to know person. what type you yeah, want. Yeah, and if you have he the, is traditional and you don't want to be submissive, it won't work. It's not gonna yeah. work. Yeah. If you're an alpha chick, that's you, a you great can, point. Like, don't. If you're an alpha chick, don't even bother going for a tr- or for an alpha dude. It's not gonna work. It's, it's not, not gonna happen. I agree. There are types like personality types yeah. that will just always clash. Yeah. I do agree with that. There are some personality types that are different that can find a happy medium, but there are some that are just so vastly different <laughs> that you're gonna be. I got more. <laughs> you got more. Um, no, I'm not saying you stop. I'm just saying I have a little more. That I wasn't. Go ahead. Um, fuck. No, I forgot. Um, <laughs> what is that shit? shit? Um, yeah, like if when it comes to like the certain types of people, oh, make sure you heal yourself first before you even bother even going for a dude. Make sure you heal your heart first. Don't just go jumping into another guy because if you bring your shit on to that relationship, that's gonna be fucking annoying for the guy, and then you're you're probably gonna end up playing the victim card anyway. So I don't know. Um. Yeah. So make make sure yeah, that goes back into take care of yourself and love yourself first. Um. What else is there? There's probably more. Like oh yeah, if you're gonna go for like the certain types, make sure you fucking table. <laughs> make, if you're going for for the certain types, like like there's I would say like there's three main types, and I think that goes for both guys and girls. I guess like what alpha. Are they? 
if you're gonna go for an alpha type dude, a more f a feminine type guy, or just a, if you want, or like a type of relationship, if you want like a more of an alpha or a feminine or egalitarian, whatever. Make sure you know the positives. What's also. that word you're saying? Egalitarian, egalitarian equals. Um, <laughs> oh. If you want to be equals, um, I'm team equal. Just throwing that out there. Uh, um. Yeah, and understand the positives, but also like the negatives that can that can come with that. Like goes back. Like if you're gonna go for an alpha type dude, understand this. You're gonna have to follow his lead. If you're gonna go for a feminine dude, understand that you're probably gonna be more of the leader, and you have to be fine with being the leader. If you want to go turn, and then obviously you're gonna have to share. But can I ask you as what type of partners you think you are? You think you're a e egalitarian mm -hmm. partner, Des? I think. Um, I think I'm a gal. I think I'm like a bit bit of egalitarian, but I think my core kind of leads to more as traditional. Yeah, I, can I think see I that. feel like I'm more traditional, but like I don't really practice it. Um, I'm a non-practicing. <laughs> no, like, like it makes religion. sense. Like I know, the I, way he's talking. No, it, it does make yeah, sense. In his heart, it's traditional, yeah. but he doesn't express Execute. it. I don't, yeah, like, yeah. I, like I deny myself. Yeah. Like, um, <laughs> I agree, but it's just like he's like I'm. I'm not. I'm a non-practicing traditional male. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, yeah, and yours is like I think you have the ability to be um, an alpha male yeah, in terms of to. relationships, <laughs> and you, yeah, you just choose not to. Yeah. You're um, like, yeah, let's make it equal, yeah. easier on me. Yeah, exactly. You just googled it quickly too. You guys are like kind of opposite in that sense. Um, have faith in them. It says, uh, make them feel handsome. Uh, this, I guess, where'd remember. you pull up this list so I quick? Just, I just googled it. How to keep a man? When did you do that? Uh, when I was on my phone. <laughs> when? Um, when? <laughs> make him feel he's like the only. Hold one. on, hold on, Hugh. With all due respect, everyone listening needs to understand. This whole time, Eugene is talking and he doesn't have no his phone, phone in, in his hand. hand. He literally picks it up and he starts reading a list, and I'm we're just called, like, I'm a fucking ninja man. We did not. We're literally. When did you have your phone in your hand? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Stop overthinking. You're not gonna figure it out. It's what fine. the hell? Um, make him feel like ladies. He's the you gotta only... watch them with their phones. You see? Yeah. Yeah. Make hell? him feel like he's the only one. It says here, don't make him feel jealous because yeah, that's kind of fucking annoying. Don't do that stupid shit. Don't do games. Don't do those fucking mind games. It's, it's not. It's not cool. And I would say this: learn to understand. And this is for both sides. Learn how to the guy. Well, I feel like guys. There's a market for us trying to figure out the female's mind, but it's not the market for the other way around. So I would say try to actually f listen to your guy friends to actually tell you. Oh, there you. is a market the other way around, I'm telling you, That's as a woman. A there is a market where women try to figure out. I, I disagree with Hugh there, what? and that is why I said, find, like, the games. Like, I don't get jealous. I'm not a jealous person. So, like, those things kind of make me laugh, like... I think that's just Well, I don't stupid. think playing games in a relationship that you want someone to take you seriously is ever really a great idea. Like, when I say make you jealous, right? Like, if I see my girlfriend or whatever uh, talking to another guy who maybe... You know how guys feel threatened by other guys? Like, oh, he's really handsome. Oh, why is she giggling like that? Like, I don't think like that. Yeah. So those kind of things don't bother me. So that's what I mean, like... Right, but it, like... <laughs> I think that's fine if she's talking to him as a regular person, a friend, but some women will be like, I'm going to purposely flirt with this other man. That's what I mean. That shit's stupid. Like intentional jealousy, I think, yeah. is what he I, means. Me, I don't think that. You like, like that shit? For me, I'm like, sick. I'm like, what are you doing? That's going to be go, see you later. Because I, I would say this. A guy who I would say is more secure is not going to put up with that for long. So don't do that what shit. What I will say, and let me play devil's advocate and actually ask you, because when we're talking about like playing games, I know, but I'm asking about your got, your point. I got more. Okay, you pulled up a whole Google. Yeah, list. you're not going to have Joe have a turn? <laughs> yeah, like, Can damn. you have a turn? I'll, okay, I'll stop. I'm done. <laughs> Man Just pulled Google up, it, honey. He pulls up an Excel spreadsheet on he's how like, to keep a man. He's like, don't ever ask me again. Yeah, you can... <laughs> no, it's not that. I, I'm, I'm gonna... My question is about the the point that you made. So which I want to ask you. Right. So let me. <laughs> no, so I'm asking which one. Right. So you said, um, oh god, my nose is running. You said that um, playing games, and as a woman, uh, I know sometimes it comes across as we're playing games when we don't intend to because as women we've exactly. been told I, I'm, I'm getting there okay. darling um, <laughs> you as women we've been told don't come on too strong because you're going to turn him off you can't seem too desperate like all of these things are going to turn him off so sometimes women are like oh like he messaged me I'm going to wait a little bit or I'm not going to seem too eager or if he asks me out I'm going to seem a little bit busy like they're the type of women who who like a man to be like 
hey, seven o'clock at this place, I'm going to pick you up. Let's go to dinner. Mm. And some women are like, oh, like that. He's assertive. But some women are like, even though it is assertive and you want to show that, it's like you can't just assume that I have nothing to do because it seems like I'm available and I'm I have no life and men are going to take advantage. So it's like you got to tell the man that even if you are free, like, no. What's the question? Where is like the, the happy medium between like playing games? Because sometimes women are made to feel like we need to pull back or restrain which can come off as a game but it's not communicate i think it's a little harder when it's someone new in your life it's not really that's not a conversation that you typically have have it do something different have it yeah right off the bat i like to tell people like i'm usually very punctual and like i i really don't like waiting See, so if I tell you I'm going to pick up at seven, if a woman initiates that conversation, men will go back or, or typically an men insecure. have gone back and be like, "Yo, she's crazy. She's yeah. trying to wife me." That's an insecure guy. So then find someone else different. It's a numbers game, hon. You call it hypothetical. Talk, talking talking yeah, I'm talking oh. about anonymous there. It's a numbers game. Yes. I, I, I'm assuming you're young too. So if you're younger <laughs> too, it's going to be even better. Your number game is even higher. Now, if you're like 40, sorry. But if you're like in your 20s, which I'm assuming you are based on our like audience, That's it's a numbers true. game. Just don't, just just figure out what you want and just don't, um, you know. Yeah, if you figure out oh, this person, whatever, and go, go find Compatibility. Yeah. If just, you find that you and someone aren't compatible, like you're just not compatible and that's okay. Yeah. Like I said, figure out, just figure out what you want. You know, you know, just do that. So, um, yeah. Not hard. I don't think it's that hard. I'll make mine a little short and sweet. Again, I do agree with, I think one thing that both of you guys said is that there's no, like, set blueprint. Like you said, uh, it depends on your compatibility. It depends on the type of person that you're going after and, you know, stuff like that. But I will say a general rule, women want honesty. Um, women want consistency. We don't like when a guy is, like, you know, there for us and then, poof, he's gone. Like, you know, in the traditional sense... When a woman um, is looking for a male partner, they're looking for a provider. We're, I'm talking like, you know. Mm, traditional. Pre- right. Exactly. So it's like, even in situations that are maybe not traditional, a lot of those traits still exist. Right. Because yeah. I think, honestly, this applies with any partnership, even if it's two women dating. Like, you still want your partner to be consistent. You want them to be honest with you. You want them to, um, I know what I'm thinking of. I just don't know, like, the word for it. Like, you want them to be, I guess, attentive mm-hmm. to your needs. And that doesn't mean, like, coddling. But, like, you want you want someone to, like, pay attention to yeah, you and your interests. Yeah, what he said, listen. And, yeah. Exactly. Um, what else? I, I think, overall, women like to feel secure in yeah. whatever relationship they're in. And I think that's, that's a huge I, thing. And that's different for everyone in different ways. You can make people feel secure in different ways. Because some people care about financial security more than emotional security. Mm-hmm. Some people just care that, like... Hey, I care that you're a good father to the kids. Like, I don't care if you kind of put me on the back burner. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, it's different for everyone, but I think in some sense or another, everyone wants security, honesty, consistency. Um, yeah, don't. Here's and what affection. I, here's what I'll say Love to to you, kid. Man. Um, don't overcomplicate it. Guys are not that complicated. It's, we're pretty straightforward and simple. You um, know what? With you saying that, I will say women are not that complicated. We're not. They're really not. Mm-hmm. I think we overthink what mm. they're thinking everyone overthinks there we go yeah just don't overthink um one that that i feel like should be mentioned in your your list joe is mm. understand mm. um mm-hmm. because you can listen and not understand yeah but when you listen and you understand now you will do something about what they said or what the issue or you know whatever they're talking about right because when I was younger, like yeah I'm a great listener I'll listen to you complain about whatever you're complaining about all night. However, that doesn't mean I understand what you're talking about. There's a difference between listening to just hear and listening to understand, yeah. like you said. So I think when you say, you know, listen, you you have to add understand to there. Yep. Because if right. you really don't understand what she's saying, then you're, you, you should ask because she's not saying whatever she's saying just to talk. Mm-hmm. She wants you to understand. Understand so. me, please. Please understand, please. <laughs> Do you I understand don't, me, please? Senor, please, please. Please, please. please. Pero, pero, please. Do you understand? At first, you were going with like the Consuela thing, and then you kind of just. I no, would pero. Pero, pero, please. But yes, I I hope that answered your question. I know it was kind of all over the place, but I think we all kind of 
contributed very uh, yeah good you points. You can take bits and pieces from all of us. <laughs> Um, Go on yes. YouTube. You'll find some stuff. Again, if you are interested in writing in, we want to hear from you. Whatever it is, we love hearing from you guys. We're not, you know, too picky with the type of questions. I we're mean, maybe that might have to change in the future. <laughs> but as of right now, we're cool with whatever you guys want to ask us. So go to thiscoroom.com slash ask if you are interested. Now, before we end, we have we actually have a bunch of different news stories that I want to ask you guys about. So it's going to be a little bit of a speed round. Speed round, <laughs> not speed, but it's going to be faster. Okay. Speed walking, speed walking. Ah, uh, got it. We're not running, but we're you know yeah, yeah, we're doing yeah. the like the old the old people like, race. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So okay, let me ask you guys: What's your go-to order from Subway? Um. Can I get uh, Italian? Hey. Um, I'm either going with a tuna, a um, only lettuce, I don't know about all that. <laughs> lettuce, tomato, cucumbers, maybe a little bit of pickles and some sub sauce. Um, if Sorry, not so that, nice. then I want the the one with the bacon and the chicken. It smells like with the same I, topping. I, I smelled that. Okay. What's your go-to? Hugh? I'm pretty simple. Um. Plain. <laughs> Dude, I just want the bread. Uh, I used to get the. I used to have one. The it was like a sweet bread. It was like grainy, but it was sweet. I can't remember what it was called, but they got rid of it sadly. But now I go for like uh, the twelve grain with the cheese on the Italian nine what, grain nine grain yeah. or the one with the cheese on it. Mm. Uh, I find that the white bread's just too plain, like Wonder Bread. Um, so I'll do that. I'll either do um, I don't know if they do rotisserie chicken anymore, but I used to do rotisserie chicken. Um, lettuce and then green pepper, spinach, and then chip, uh, chipotle. Or, but my go to normally is a steak, lettuce, red pepper. Che- oh, yeah, cheese. You seem like a meatball sub type of guy. No, I've had it. It's it's shit. Oh. <laughs> Subway ones. Doesn't he kind of seem like a meatball sub type no, of guy? No, it's shit. I've no, but like it. looking at you, you, yeah. Just, yeah. you just I'll, look I'll like make, a meatball I'll sub. Make it, I'll, make it at, <laughs> I'll make it at home. I'll make it at home. But the Subway one sucks. But yeah, just, just steak. Um, Lettuce, green pepper, chipotle. Mine is a like the like assorted cold cuts, or sometimes I'll do like a ham or turkey, but like it's just easier to do assorted because those already come in it. Um, with just <laughs> oh, oh on nine grain, not toasted, with cheese, tomato, and light mayo, and that's it. Oh my it. god, yours is even more basic. <laughs> I'm a picky eater. Mine has flavor at least. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mine yeah, has flavor true. from the meat. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, enough. <laughs> Fuck you. I just got some bread and mayo. <laughs> there's tomato and meat on it and I'm, cheese. I'm fucking yeah, there's Sometimes I will ask for extra cheese because that way I can actually taste it. Like, no, because when they put the, like a one little layer, because I have such little things on it. And they usually don't charge me for the extra cheese because they're like, that's yeah, it? They that's feel all so you want? Bad. Just like, you sure? Yeah. You okay? <laughs> you okay? <laughs> we can talk. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You know what, Des? I have some news for you. Since you like your tuna sub, did you know a lab study has confirmed that there's, there's no, no tuna. actual tuna in Subway's tuna sandwiches? <laughs> I don't care what is in that. It could be human remains. I remember years ago, the, they, there was like... The same material that was in yoga mats was in the bread. In the bread, yeah. Yeah, shut up. You didn't know that? No. Bro, yeah. it's Subway. It's not I don't fresh. Eat sub- what? They lied. <laughs> no shit. I don't eat Subway. I haven't had it in a minute. Neither I almost, do I. That's I why I don't buy it. I'm Subway. Kaden used to love it. So we used to go there not often, but. More if we go Yeah, there. yeah. But we haven't gone in a long time. Yeah, so you want to talk about my plain shit? At least I'm not eating God knows what. <laughs> I yeah, eat hot dogs. There's a lawsuit so. and everything. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Yo, somebody's been having a bad couple of years. Yeah. <laughs> what happened mats? to Mr. Sub? <laughs> <laughs> you remember there? It's like, one. Only Americans won't know that. It doesn't. Well, they can tell that it's another Subway shop. I don't. Quiznos think. was actually better. I've yeah. actually never had Quiznos, but they, it's they're gone. obviously more. They're, they're pretty much gone. What do you mean? They're not really around anymore. Um, well, at least here. Yeah. yeah. I've had it before. It, it, it's actually it's a lot better. It's mm. a lot better. Oh yeah, of course. Um, low key, my. Favorite supervillain. He is bisexual. Yeah. Loki. They made him bisexual now. Apparently, he was always, but <sighs> okay. Well, I can believe that. We've never delved into his love life. No one gives a fuck about his love life. That's why. 
Slow well, key. you know, he has his show. Makes sense. So I guess, like, um, I actually have not started watching it because I'm just so behind on other things, but I love Loki and I do plan on watching it. Um, and, oh, sorry, I guess well, I should have said low key. Well, he is low key. Ho, ho, I, well, I should have said low key. This is a spoiler. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so someone asked him, like, oh, like, would there be a would be princess or prince, perhaps? And he says a bit of both. Well, bit of both. Well, it's a big thing. I mean, it's Pride Month. I mean, for the next yeah, that's like, why they two did days. It. That's why they did it. They don't really care. But a lot of people are now saying, okay, well, now that you've said that, don't just kind of make it be a passing thing. Like, it, show us. It's always a passing thing with the superheroes, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we'll see. It they're, is. Not, they're not allowed to say too much of anything. Well, so they're just like... Because they don't want, like, people... Like, if you make someone's favorite character gay and now all of the homophobes are going to be like oh, I'm going to boycott Marvel you know so they don't well, want that they want to play it as safe as possible because that's like Spider-Man they're saying the new Spider-Man that comes out they're going to make uh, him homosexual no yeah Spider-Man and Mary Jane forever uh, that's what people are saying that's why people get annoyed it's it's like, hashtag no, not my Spider-Man no, people <laughs> get, people, yeah so those are probably some homophobes sure but it's not mostly that it's just see most- here's the thing I support a gay superhero a million percent but I think like why would they change the story you're gonna write that's out a what, whole Mary Jane is a huge people get issue. annoyed about right. when they randomly like they made Captain America oh you're gay now that's you're, you're a gay twink now think, that's what people get annoyed about or like even um Who's who's the new um, Batman? Captain America. Yeah, Falcon. Oh yeah, they they. That's they, what they're going with. I, they're saying I that they had a. They need to, like the way like Black Panther was a black superhero. I think he had such a huge reception because they didn't take a already existing character and make them black. Like how with um, Halle Bailey. She's playing the new Ariel. You know, Chloe and Halle. The two Chloe's the one who's busting out on the gram two sisters Beyonce signed them if I showed you a picture you guys would know but um (laughs) they're doing like a live action thing of um Little Mermaid Little Mermaid and Hallie is a young black woman and she's playing Ariel and it's like that's amazing how how are they gonna change that it's a Dutch story and I support I I don't know Hmm. and I support it a million percent but I also think it doesn't have the same impact as when they came out with Princess Tiana because she was already black Mm, they didn't have to like right I don't like the fact that she was a frog but that's a different story (laughs) right and yeah a lot of people yeah. feel like oh the first black princess yeah, you and you make her frog her like for most this. of the movie yeah, man. but that's neither here nor there you get what i'm saying so yeah. i think the lgbtqia plus community you the two, but yeah jesus it's it's well i said yeah, no plus. go ahead I said yeah. plus. whatever <laughs> i think that it would have a bigger impact if these characters i mean i support the whole loki being bisexual thing like by all means but again it's like if you're just doing that just to do it but it, that's what it's they do not the same like just make a character that is already Ready. that well that's yeah. the thing that's what they do that's what people get annoyed it's yeah. the same thing oh we're gonna make this character black we, it's like I you know what you're doing you know you're just trying doing. to put like a bandaid yes. on the situation yeah. by mm-hmm. meeting a quota yes. checking a yes. box that's yeah. what they do that's what they do all the time right but that's, that's what it's not the same give us but actual representation that's what people get mad about don't that's just what they pretend. do all the time they're yeah. like we're gonna make you black hey make a gay and black woman superhero that's oh. what i want to see oh yeah oh yeah what i'm being serious they do have that already who uh they they made batwoman yeah. Yeah. No, you see she, what I mean. She was. Give she me... was. She was. She was Rebel Wilson. She was already Batwoman, the red hair one. She's already gay she's in the comics. She was a lesbian, and now they made her black. Yeah, and I, gay. I know Issa Rae is you gonna know be... why they can run with the the superhero and the homosexual lesbian thing is because um costumes. no, because Spider Man already touched base on the different universes. So now they're gonna run with a different universe. This is the Spider Man. Oh, that's what they're doing. Oh, I thought they were coming. Now it's Matthew Jane. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) MJ. MJ could be anyone, to be fair. (laughs) But I'm like, don't don't take away Zendaya's role. Just too late. It's been taken. (laughs) Um, Okay, moving on in our kind of we're we're not really speed walking. I feel like we're just just walking. We're 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 strolling. Um, Usain Bolt a couple weeks ago had um, twins. Ooh. So he has three kids now total. I'll shot the right out. His of first, what? His his first kid, um, his daughter. Her name was Olympia Lightning Bolt. And That's th- fucking cool. You didn't know that? This is she's I like a couple years old now. I don't care. <laughs> Hugh, I'm pretty sure we talked about this on the podcast. I probably didn't pay attention. Probably not. <laughs> Olympia Lightning Bolt. That's fucking. So gnarly. his twins are boys, and it's Thunder. <laughs> no middle name, just Thunderbolt. That's Thunder. Wicked. And Saint Leo. Saint Leo. That's wicked. Say, no. 
I don't like St. Leo because it's not oh weather God. themed. <laughs> no, think about it. You, your sister's Olympia Lightning and Thunder is your brother and you're St. Leo. It doesn't, like St. I mean, you know, it's a cool Olympia name, but like it doesn't Lightning. fit the St. Leo. Hello, yeah. St. Leo. Fun fact, if I ever have another son. Um, you name him Lightning? No, I'm going to name him King. So people have to dress him as King Freeborn. That's cool. Thank you very much. That's cool. Thank you very much. That's cool. But but are you gonna do a middle name? Yeah, no. 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 <laughs> Ew, what is that face? <laughs> no, that actually. Yeah, that pretty is cool. cool. It's pretty cool, man. I mean, it would have been cooler like in the fifties. Yeah, but... definitely. Yeah, people would have lost their mind. <laughs> like what? What's your last name, son? <laughs> What's your last name, Address son? Address me as King Freeborn the First. What's your as name? a black man on a horse. What's oh your name, God. Mister? What's your name? Ooh. Oh, king, that's, not that's, not the accent. That's a King Freeborn. Yes, you. <laughs> no, Just like that's that. That's a King of Freeborn, True, but you right already there, have son, boy. So I feel like that's kind of insulting. Just, Why is the second one the king uh, and the first one uh, is what? Uh, Chopped liver. Scar. I don't know. The, the first one is like um that fucking Subway tuna. <laughs> no. What the hell he what is? What's his name there, boy? Sorry, Kaden. It's all low. <laughs> um, okay, uh, Michael B. Jordan. He had a rum coming out. Did you hear about this, Des? No. Okay, I'm I know Hugh now. knew it. Well, he was. Yeah, he has a rum coming out. Last year, they patented the name and whatever. It's called Juve. But the Trinis are pissed. I never knew Juve was Trini. What do you mean? I never knew that. Actually, I didn't. Okay, I thought I didn't even know Juve was, <laughs> was a place. Was a thing? <laughs> I just thought it was a thing that we just Juve jab jab. And we just <laughs> that's, that's what I thought. He's just here for the jab jab. <laughs> that's pretty much it. That's what I thought it was. So people are upset because so if you guys are listening, and you don't know Juve, which um, it's a broken down version of the French word jour ouvert. <laughs> jour ouvert. <laughs> I don't know. You stop because you can't for trying to pretend like you speak French. But basically, it means like day open. And, um, you know, it's pronounced as Juve in Trinidad. And there's like festivities. And Mm -hmm. um, it originated from a time when sugarcane fields caught on fire. And slaves were still forced to harvest the remaining crops before complete destruction. Mm -hmm. Um, And then that event was later reenacted. And male slaves were mocked by their masters. And then after the uh, emancipation of the slaves, the slaves mocked the masters, Mm -hmm. mocking them. And the festival begins. It starts like way before the crack of dawn and it proceeds a little past sunup. Yeah. Um, And the event, it it, like. What does Jab Jab have to do with Juve then? They're just having a party. Uh, Yeah. But like it's basically, it's a. It symbolizes, you know, freedom, emancipation, Mm -hmm. and then it was later adopted by other Caribbean islands as they also experience emancipation through different periods in history. So that's why they are upset because Michael B. Jordan is not Trinidadian, although I believe one of the partners on the rum is, Mm -hmm. but he himself, as the face of the rum, he is not Trinidadian and to try to trademark the name. They, they also don't want it to be associated only with the rum because it has such historical meaning behind it. Mm-hmm. So they don't want, when someone Googles what Juve is... They don't want to see the rum, yeah. But if right. they Google Juve, they're just going to see Jab Jab. But you know what? I, I do understand what they're saying, and I hope they're not like cancel Michael B. Jordan for this. It's no, no. I never saw one. I mean, I'm sure people I did. are. I didn't see one person calling for him to be canceled, yeah. but they did want it to be renamed. Yeah, yeah, I that I can... And he did make a statement. He I said, I just want to say on behalf of myself like, and my partners, our intention was never to offend mm. or hurt a culture we love and respect and hope to celebrate and shine a positive light on. The last few days has been a lot of listening, a lot of learning, engaging in countless community conversations. We hear you. I hear you and want to be clear that we are in the process of renaming. That's good. We sincerely apologize and look forward to introducing a brand we can all be proud of. Nothing mm-hmm. else needs to be no, said. No, I think, I think that's it. What's he going to call it? He said cool. he's in the it process doesn't matter. of renaming. We can call it shit on a stick. Call it anything <laughs> other than it. stick rum. I'm going to buy yeah, it. Yeah. Hey, buy you want some shit on a stick? Fantasize that I'm drinking with Michael B. Yeah, Jordan. I hope, I hope the internet doesn't run with this because like... Well, Nicki Minaj stepped in because you know she is Trini. Yeah, yeah. I thought she was Jamaican. No. No. I thought this whole time. What? No, she. <laughs> what? Always says that. Rock, she's have you training. been living under? I thought. I don't care about her that much. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I don't know. She's from Jamaica, Queens. I thought she was Jamaican. Jamaica, Queens is not Jamaica, the island. That's, that's uh, uh, New York. <laughs> I know, but I always thought she was Jamaican. No, no. Uh, I always Stupid. thought she was Jamaican. Oh, they're all the same. Um, 
But no, so he she just says, <laughs> I'm sure Michael B. Jordan didn't intentionally do anything he thought Caribbean people mm-hmm. would find offensive. But now that you are aware, change your name and continue to flourish and prosper. And that's all it is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think it was handled really well. Mm. I think, I mean, Hugh, you said you saw people trying to cancel him specifically. Yeah, of course. Twitter. I mean, I don't doubt it, but in general, I only saw people upset about the name. Yeah, so they I think, can't do it. Uh, so I think now be. that it's going to be renamed, like I think, I, I think it's cool. I I think he should say why he's changing the name, because obviously, not a lot of people will know and do the research, and you know what I mean. They won't understand what Juve is. You think like a further statement as to the meaning like, of Juve? The reason, yeah, exactly. I feel like that also would be like a little sprinkle. Right, because a lot of like regular Americans will Yeah, they'll know. just be like, what? Like, who cares, you know? I just want to drink but Michael when you B. Hear, when you hear the significance behind it, hmm. you learn to appreciate things differently. Yeah. The same way you're like, what does Jab Jab have to do with you, man? <laughs> but Jab Jab is the name of the party. Yeah. I don't know. I always see them together. <laughs> yeah. Jab Jab Juve. Because it's that specific part. That's I, the name I, of a local That's the one party. that you're going to. You're going yeah. to Jab Jab. And it's a local I, thing. I'm just saying, I don't know. You're I, so I, 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 Jab Jab Juve. I just, I just think about oil being thrown in paint and everyone daggering. Oh, boy. Hammer hit Pee Wee's. No, no, don't do that. Well, Soak up people don't like the daggering. Speaking mm. of... Um, you don't? They hate it. Oh, no, that's, well. a, that's a dance hall thing. Yeah, they hate people like you. That dagger to Soka music. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've been daggering oh. to soca music for like the past ten years. Yeah, they hate you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm not. I'm being they serious. They keep coming back for more. No, that's because that's, those are the ones who don't know. <laughs> oh. They try and they're like, "Oh my god, what is this guy doing?" Oh, I would have yeah, yeah. Reaction. They really like. I have friends who go to a lot of soca parties and they really, really get mad. Really, yeah. you're supposed to whine. Yeah. I whine too. <laughs> <laughs> I do that. Sometimes. I move my ways back and hip. forth. <laughs> I can't believe you just told Eugene that a whole group of people hate him. Dang. Yeah, I'm sorry. His they face. really do, though. <laughs> oh, man. And they really think that all Jamaican men know how to do is dagger. They don't know that, how to whine. And know. jump off of speakers. That's all and we know how no, to do. No, I, I that's don't. That's all we know. All I know is to just thrust and jump, okay? <laughs> Speaking of thrusting and jumping, oh, OnlyFans oh, oh, yeah. is considering to actually remove oh. adult content from their platform because they want to gain more business from advertisers. Whoa! Eugene, what? what about all the women who, like, because remember, you can't upload amateur porn to Pornhub anymore because they're trying mm-hmm. to cut down on... Oh, it sucks. Uh, ew. Oh, right, because you Why like... Why am I my gifts? Oh, okay, we don't... I hate talking about your <laughs> gifts. It makes you so uncomfortable. I don't understand. But um, yeah. The thing is, if this goes through, well, because realistically, a lot of you are fucked. OnlyFans was not started for that purpose. No. They just kind of ran with it when people yeah, started using like, it for it. that. Yeah, like, it. make a lot of money. It was meant for like, it was kind of like a Patreon. Like yeah, you know, like yeah, yeah. if we wanted to have an OnlyFans and put like exclusive content on there, or we should have an OnlyFans. Yeah, what type of content? Just just a podcast. Oh. <laughs> I'll just shit in a toilet. Oh, yeah. you killed it. I didn't kill it. I was waiting for for he, for Des to jump in and like say something else. I was ready to run with it. Y'all, mm. y'all. Nah. Why are you looking at me like that? I ran with it. I had the rum bum. See, you, you, you entertain him. <laughs> and then when he goes too far, you're just like, oh my God. Oh my God. I don't No, you, you... because I was clearly leaning in a certain direction because I was like, what, what type of content? And I leaned you into do it. Only fans. Yeah. But you leaned Shit so fans. far that you oh boy. shot yourself. Yeah. <laughs> They call me Run Bun. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Des, what are your thoughts about the platform pivoting? And what do you think will happen um, to all of the women who... That's their careers. Yeah, that's their livelihood. It sucks. Um, They'll figure it I out. I think that well, they... Sorry to interrupt. They did have a, a hue. They had... I remember when private Snapchats were a thing before yeah. mm-hmm. thing, but then Snapchat cut uh, cut, cut down, yeah. and then Pornhub cut down, and then OnlyFans might be cutting okay. down. Yeah, I think they'll figure it out. They're entrepreneurs. Backpages might have to reopen. Backpages got closed by the FBI. No, nah, something else will open. It's always no. There's already else. another site. There, for yeah, backpages. no, they'll figure it out. Or so. you know, the maker of that will make another page for those type of people and have OnlyFans for you know. Or <laughs> to be fair, I would say that they should probably just make another one. Yeah, because OnlyFans the name is always going to be associated now with oh, sex work. Yeah. Maybe you know? they'll even think of that, yeah. Maybe they might even just change the name. No, like but maybe like, they, may go, they may go full on remarketing. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you want one that's not 
with like adult content, only don't call fantastic. it only, <laughs> only fantastic grade A content around here, boys um, and girls. <laughs> I just thought about something right. that I didn't realize, but I did realize. Excuse me. When we were speaking about the whole superhero and the gay thing, mm. yep, yep, yep. Deadpool is pansexual. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't realize it, right? No, because he's like obsessed with that woman. No. No, that's in the movie. Yeah. I'm talking about comics. Oh, comics. I never saw the comics. Comics, he's wild. Yeah, he does whatever, whenever, however he feels like. Yeah. Cool. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so why didn't that reflect in the movie? Uh, It did at a point where um she... She pegged him. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. But you don't have to be pansexual to be pegged. You can be straight and still like to get pegged because men have their prostate back there. That doesn't mean anything. I disagree. No, that doesn't mean anything. No, I know. I, I you understand. Have a I just it's there I for still pleasure. Disagree. You can like women exclusively. I think pooping feels good. It doesn't Eugene, feel good. You don't need to always bring I it back to shit. I don't enjoy it. I you don't, don't enjoy shitting. I don't enjoy shitting. I what don't enjoy farting. You? Like you don't enjoy the in my gas real life, coming out your butt. In my real life, I do not fart in front of anybody. Man, you're missing out. Not on my life, family. Bro. Not Maybe my friends. Son? Not no, my hey, son. <laughs> no. <laughs> People who do that, I think they're disgusting. <laughs> that's him. That's no, my cousins do that all the time. I think Dude, that's disgusting. Dude, I would fart in my kid's face. The most I fart is in my sleep. <laughs> and that's because I've been holding it in for seven days. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Like, I was on the couch one you time. Like, you don't like having a nice little and, poop come out? Oh, my God. Ew, no. You never just feel like you just lost some weight? Yeah, but I don't like you the You don't enjoy feeling. the process? No. I don't think poop rubs against your it does. prostate. It does. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the shits I am, they you're, do. You're gonna make Des throw up. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're like one of those kids. You know when a kid, you know a kid is pooing in their diaper. They're making the face. Their head is shaking. They're like, <laughs> that's not me screaming about the poop. I'm oh, nutting. Boy. I'm sorry for the smells your mother went through. Uh, that's okay. She she knew what she was getting herself into. <laughs> You're the type of person that needs, like, their own personal, like, outhouse. Nah. Yeah, not a bathroom, outhouse. Nah, we I don't mean, want this in the I house. mark my territory. Can't be attached to the... Fun fact, I used to have to leave my shoes outside my house. Why? Because they smell so Why bad. Why stink that bad? I don't. Don't you wear socks? Yeah. Oh. I didn't understand either. I was a growing that's, boy. That's okay. Puberty, man. Puberty. Does wearing socks help to alleviate the yeah. smell? Yeah. yeah. It sucks up all the sweat. Mm, gross. Oh, is that why some people's socks smell so rancid? Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. You know what? I think on that note, I think it's time to wrap it up because I feel like no matter what we do at this point, Hugh will find a way to bring it back to shit. Yeah. 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 (laughs) Unfortunately, I I think that's it. I'm glad we went this long without it, but here we are. Well, no, I feel like it's come up throughout. I mean, I started it with telling that story about his sourdough. Oh right! <laughs> I don't know how sourdough and poop are the same. They're not. I just thought sour. Completely different material. And okay. Oh, okay. Completely you different see? texture. Yeah. Also, you one's clay, one's spongy. You did it. Completely different. I'm not going to take responsibility for that, Des. Of course you have to. I'm you not. Which, it up. which one is spongy? It was sourdough. Des, really? I just have to ask. If you have spongy poop, you got to go to the doctor. He said one is like clay and one is spongy, so I had to ask. Well, either clay no, he or said his water. Asshole is like clay. No, the shit's like clay. Yeah, that's what he Whatever. said. Whatever. Yeah, my that's ass would be like clay. That means my ass fell out. I think. <laughs> it, it probably did by now. <laughs> it probably did. No, a few weeks ago, remember we were reading stories and it was about the girl who was trying to finger her, her oh, yeah, boyfriend's yeah, butt and yeah. she touched it and it felt spongy because <laughs> there was still poo on his butthole. Mm, he doesn't remember. <laughs> I, I, I remember that. that. That's you. I don't have a spongy butt. <laughs> I it's clay. He's like, my asshole may be a lot of things, but it's not. I got spongy. some soft serve ice cream. Okay, out. okay, okay. On that note, yes, I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm so no, sorry. It's, you're not sorry. It's okay. All right, thank you guys for listening. You can find us on our socials at this square room. Please feel free to follow us. We really appreciate all of the support. Thanks, Don't forget to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend about us, and we will see you next Tuesday. Oh.